Hello. Right. Uh, picture eight. Um, when I'm stood here, if you remember on picture seven, you had that um, you had the bridge and the um, wall with the um, graffiti on. Um, where that was, um, it was kind of you know you had the, as I said before, you had the bridge and then you had the wall. You know, got graffiti, the little island. You know that the kids used to swim on. Well, where the graffiti was, where the white wall was, I'm stood there. I'm stood there and I'm kind of looking across. Uh, the 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 that uh, metal railway bridge is running like sort of parallel with me. Um, so what you can see is, um, is is the wall that's been. This must be in the original wall. And then you've got the bit of bank that's kind of over, you know, grown onto the canal. Um, whether this has been done or whether it's been part of what's been chucked in there, you know, when I was saying about tipping all the metal in, I'm, I'm not quite so sure. But um, this would have been accessible then, because uh, this is where this, uh, that steelworks was that used to, you know, chuck everything in. So what I've done is I've I've walked um, on like on the last picture, you saw the steps where. And the, the big wall was where the tramway, and you can walk down there, and you can walk all the way along to where I am now and a bit further. So I'm kind of stood there, I'm looking across, um, in the left hand corner, because where they see like the little top of a building, that's the uh, Fox House pub, I do believe, I'll just check on here. Yeah, the Fox House pub, and obviously to the left of that, which you can't see, would be where the scrapyard was, where I said, you know, we used to um, kind of mess about in cars and take the emblems off. Um, like Cortina and you know um, Fiat, Fiat and more, mainly Fords and stuff, but anyway, I don't know. We used because they were scrap. We surprised the um, the name Ford or the Cortina. I mean, my like, brother had an old suitcase under his bed um, that we never used, and it was full of um, all these different metal logos and any other like 1.5 and any bits that are inside. You know, like in the, the centre of the steering wheel. Do you remember the old cars where the horn used to be? And it says something like Ford or or VW or, or Vauxhall or something. We used to prize them out and keep them. They don't do it anymore. You don't have um, the emblem is such. It just says airbag. Just that's just 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 come to me that one. But it, I don't know why. But he, he just loved cars and and I suppose still does. And he just collected all this stuff. And I was, obviously I used to go along because it was an adventure and helping me. You know, it was great. Anyway waffling on again so as you can see across from there you can just see the canal on the right hand side and then you can see the canal bank where with a little pathway and it's a little bit dark with the sun and then the overgrown bank and to the right of this bank where, where that was that's obviously where the form was that i mentioned in the last one with the uh, amazing horse as you do um funny enough in the reflection on the water just to the right in the center of the picture you can see a big pylon or you can see what's part of a big pylon um uh, there's a story about this I'm going to tell you now. Um, th this obviously um, used to I used to look at this when I used to look straight out of me out of my bedroom window, and um, every time I go past it, it's just another you know it's it's great. It's like a it's like a monument to me, like you know, like because it just tells me where I used to live. It's it's great. But the, um, one night, or oh, we had really really bad storms. This is, um, I remember my dad coming in and. Um, it, it must have started about three four in the morning. I know it was summer because it was just coming light. And um, but it had been raining, howling, thundering, and lightning. And I didn't like thunder and lightning. I mean, I never did as a kid. It used to frighten the living daylights out of me. And um, it was thundering. And I remember my dad coming into the because uh, I've been shouting coming into the bedroom when this big storm started. Now apparently we'd had so much rain. My dad had been down to work, and he got there, and all the machines were just covered in silt and. Um, you know, mud and whatnot, which had been washed down from the river and the canal, it just filled up. So he spent most of the day just digging his machine out of all this, like two or three foot of mud, you know, the whole lot. Um, but this morning where the storm was, I remember being in bed, I remember shouting because it was thundering and lightning, and it was kind of half, because it was really, really black and dark because of the clouds. And this pylon across um, got struck by lightning. Um, what I remember of it is waking up, shouting my dad. My dad come in and saying, it's okay, it's only a thunderstorm. Opening the curtains, and as he opened the curtains, there was a bolt of lightning, hit this pylon, and it, this pylon just exploded in like a ball of orange and yellow light. It, it was amazing. I remember the, 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 the room just lighting up yellow and orange, and I was frightened to death. And my dad was like, in a silhouette, it was that bright. It went to be a right bang. And um, it... The, the, it was like a real loud buzzing noise, and I, I think I, I, I shot under the covers after that. But I remember it, it vaguely happening. And apparently, my dad said um, to the right, um, 
there was a guy working under under his car, under his car bonnet, obviously, when they started. And it was kind of just outside the, because where the, the pylon is, is there's an electricity um, like supplier, you know, with the with the sheds and everything there. And he was working under his car. And as soon as his pylon hit, got struck by lightning, he looked up and he, my dad just said he just turned around and legged it, ran as fast as he could down the street, just ran and ran. And um, it, it was that point of that happening that made me frightened of thunder and lightning until ooh, to at least a later age. I won't say, because if I say 22, you'll laugh. But no, it wasn't. It was 25. No, and it frightened the life out of me. And it just looked like the whole room had just exploded and engulfed in orange and yellow light. And I always remember that. And every time I walk past, I go past it on the tram, I always say, that's the pile I got struck by lightning and the mother off's like, oh, not again. Because I have to go through the same story, but... Um, that's that's really the story for this picture. Some pictures I've not really wrote a lot about when I did them because I didn't know what I was going to do with them. Um, but I just put taking a little bit further where the graffiti wall is. This wasn't accessible back then, and in the distance you can see the Fox House pub. So uh, yeah, that's it for uh, picture eight. So uh, on to uh, just double check that's right. Yeah, picture nine next.